Hi everybody, my name is Darren and I'm building the ultimate train set. Now that is a somewhat bold proclamation, perhaps more accurate. I'm building the train set that I always wanted, the train set that Lionel never built, but should have built. Back in the 1980s, my father pulled out his 1940s train set that had been unused and in our basement for many years. That rekindled his interest in trains. Uh, soon thereafter, he joined the Train Collectors Association, and we started to go to train shows um, around the area, and eventually we went to train shows around the country. Needless to say, during this time, I formed a few opinions on operating trains and a few on collecting trains. It's these opinions that help define what the ultimate train set would look like to me. I actually like all the old gay trains, whether they're made by Ives, American Flyer, or Marklin. I particularly like the beauty of the tin plate trains, but what I gravitate to most are the post-war Lionel. And no surprises here, that's exactly what my dad runs and collects. Lionel post-war has some of the best engines, freight cars, and accessories ever made. Now the most enjoyable aspect of collecting trains is being able to operate them, being able to watch them perform some action. And this applies not just to the engines pulling the trains, the cars around the track, but also the operating cars as well as the operating accessories. And I think most uh, collectors and operators would probably agree with this. There is one aspect I particularly like that is not about collecting or how a train looks, but is directly related to how a train operates. And that's the engineering behind the train. Uh, the more complex the toy train is, uh, the better in my mind. I certainly like the mechanical engineering side of toy trains, but it's really the electrical engineering side that is uh, my cup of tea, or as is the case today, a cup of coffee. So a typical Lionel post-war train set would include an engine, um, some freight cars and the, or, or some passenger cars and a caboose. Um, perhaps a train set would include a transformer and some track. And if the set was truly fantastic, you'd also get an operating accessory. My set will include an engine, uh, two freight cars, um, yes, only two freight cars, uh, perhaps a caboose, um, and an operating accessory. Uh, the set won't exactly include a transformer, and it certainly will not include a circle's worth of track, but it will include a um, specialty piece of track. Now, given all that I've told you and uh, your vast knowledge of Lionel post-war trains and accessories, I'm sure you've already figured out what my ultimate train set um, is. So, without further ado. For the engine, I plan on going with Lionel's motorized unit known as the Burrow Crane. The Burrow Crane has both the ability to power itself along the track like a traditional engine, but additionally can use its crane to lift and move obstacles. Honestly, the only thing that could be better would be to have two Burrow Cranes in the set. It's not a bad idea. For the freight cars, I plan to have a gondola and a flat car. I could see the burrow crane with a gondola at one end and the flat car at the other end. Um, potentially an additional caboose. Um, I'm not sold on it right now at this point. Now for the operating accessory, why stick with one crane when you can have two cranes? I'm going with an operating gantry crane. The set itself won't include any track, but I would like to make a specialized piece of track uh, for which the um, operating gantry crane can roll along and operate on. Now the train set I've described up to this point may not seem particularly special, but it's at this point where things get interesting. For starters, I plan on adding a reversing unit in the unit to the burrow crane. Uh, for the gantry crane, I'd like to add the ability by way of motor to move the gantry crane along the specialized track. Uh, and finally, 
I would like to control the crane operations of the burrow crane using the electronic control unit from Lionel's electronic set. Now, for those of you familiar with the electronic set, I'm just going to let that sink in. Okay, I think it's sunk in long enough. I have no idea how I'm going to do this, no idea how it's going to turn out, but that's what we're going to work with. So there you have it. I'm making the ultimate Lionel post-war train set. I'll recap the details of the build in this post. Um, if things significantly change along the way, I'll update this post, but not necessarily this video. I hope to post videos for different aspects of the build, since I have really no idea how I'm going to get all this done. Uh, the website will likely feel disconnected. Hopefully, as the build progresses, the website will feel a little more connected. Be sure to check out the About section of the website, and thanks for coming along on my journey to the Ultimate Train Set.